you, how do you spell this? P. P R P E N I S. Penis. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's Eats of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and for more juicy content. Thank you so much on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, ring the bell, and the notification squad. And also, uh, follow us on our own personal YouTube channels. We each can have one. Uh, the links are always in the description below. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, just an update I created a whole bunch of different playlists for movie reviews. Uh, so now each playlist uh, is divided by the language. So there's a Tamil movie review playlist. There's a Telugu, uh, Bengali, Hindi. You. Um, so if you ever want to see a playlist of that certain language, just letting you know they're there now. Anyways, you are, today, you are making us you are making us even more awesomer than we were. Uh, we are uh, doing a movie review of a Tamil film, even though it stars a. Malalium, uh, very legendary actor, <laughs> um, in case no one's ever heard of him. We are uh, reviewing Paranbu, I believe is how you pronounce that, correct? I think you're close enough for hand grenades and horseshoes. Uh, directed by Ram. Uh, I think he, he's a pretty, I don't think we've gotten into him, but I know he's like a legendary director. Yep. And we've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then starring Mamudi, uh, who is with him and Mohanal, are the two biggest legendary actors in, some would say Indian cinema, but definitely Mal Malalium uh, cinema, for sure. And then also the little girl's name is Sadhana? I think you are correct, and this would be the first time I think we have a film whose director and two stars only go by one name. Did Oprah and Cher ever do a movie together? <laughs> and Madonna? Maybe. <laughs> I don't that think they, I don't think they were in the color purple outside of Oprah. Uh, yeah. A single father tries to raise his daughter who has cerebral palsy, or they called it. Um, uh, she was spastic. Spastic, uh, which I don't. I think is a. Um, I don't know if that's the correct translation. Maybe that's what it's called in, in India. But uh, cerebral palsy, I know, is the medical name for it. Even as yeah. she's beginning to wake up to her sexuality. Yes. Um, so, yeah, this is a spoiler review. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please go see it and then come back and watch the review. Uh, unless, you want your, yeah. unless you want your movie spoiled because you should let the movie tell the story and you really should let this one tell you its story. Uh, also, um, I know a lot of you haven't seen this because yeah. a lot of you are North Indian that only watch Hindi cinema or... Oh, I got an idea. Yeah. I, I got an idea. Why don't we do this as if this was a brand new release and let's do half of this without spoilers and then cut to the stuff we want to talk about so that people can yeah. hear half of it. Now you just want to go straight to the juggler? Go watch it. Um... <laughs> Anyways, Rick, initial thoughts. Go ahead. Fine with me. Um, I didn't write a paragraph out because I would just like to extemporize. I have so much more to say about this than a singular paragraph. Mm -hmm. um, I can say this at the outset. Not only um, is this one of my favorite films we've seen, mm -hmm. um, this is probably... Um, as much as Kambalanji Nights has such an aesthetic beauty to it and as, as, as artistry for me is just such a delight to watch, the level of importance I feel this film has. Definitely, it's an important film. And I think it's truly groundbreaking for Indian cinema, especially South Indian cinema, from what we've seen and heard. I, I think this movie is magnificent. And and it's right up there at the top of my list of if you want to see an important movie touching on subject matter that is about as important as you could possibly talk about right now, not just in India, but anywhere in the world. It's this. I loved it. 
Yeah, same. I thought it was a a really good, brilliant, powerful, important story um, that you don't get to see a lot, uh, and also no. could be done totally wrong because this actress it does not have cerebral palsy, right. um, and so that's not an easy task to put somebody up to, especially a child that's only done two films. Yeah, you want, should we should we just talk about her for a yeah, little yeah, bit? Yeah, let's talk about her because yeah. she's obviously the the hair and Mahano or the star Mamushi. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get to him for sure, um, and then we'll get to the film as a whole. But let's start with her. I thought I, I haven't seen uh, an actor portraying a disability at that age that is such a profound physical portrayal as um patty duke did playing helen keller in the miracle worker mm -hmm. um i thought that her physical work was extraordinary for an actress of her age and her experience mm -hmm. um she had uh, i mean yes i can be tremendously nitpicky in some moments where i saw some lack of continuity with the physicality she represented mm -hmm. But the complexity of what her physicality had to incorporate, as well as the emotion her character had to portray, and what she was able to do with the disjointing of fingers that are clearly because she's double-jointed, that not everybody could do, but she was able to do to make it even more believable. Yeah. I have nothing but stellar accolades for this young lady's portrayal of this character. Nothing but accolades. Yeah, she... I, I kept looking, just like when we watched, and it was not the exact same story, but a similar story, like uh, with the movie, with with straw. straw, in terms of it's yep. a, 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 and I guess that's an important way to tell that story is because a lot of people almost see people with cerebral palsy or um, um, ailments like this as almost not human. Uh, yes. They tend to see them as yep. just uh, like broken things. Uh, mm -hmm. And a lot of people treated her in this film as a just a thing that they somebody should have just murdered a long time ago, which mm -hmm. uh, which was another thing about this film that almost there was almost no good people in this film outside of um, a transgender prostitute and yep. a girl with cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. Those are like the only two good people in this entire film. <laughs> well, I we'll we'll talk more about him. I I actually felt um, I felt her dad for 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 his limitations and his his failings. Um, I thought ultimately it is in his in his core. I felt he was trying to be the best he could possibly be, even though he definitively had some shortcomings. I thought ultimately he handled the majority of the things he was having to deal with with what I would construe as, as more of a good man than a bad man. Well, no, I, I agree. I, the, the, the way he lost me in terms of being a good man. Uh, was at the end? It was at the end where he tried to mur <laughs> murder his daughter. I mean... I, okay, come on. No, he was trying to murder himself and his daughter. That is not okay. Uh, <laughs> that is not okay. No, no, I don't, no, no, no. I don't care I'm what not... he. I, I don't care what he learned from it. Obviously, he learned. He's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't do that. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't try to murder my daughter. Anyways, I know what they were trying to say, but he still tried to murder his daughter, and so that's that's where he lost me. Also, in the beginning, obviously, his wife, who is still a terrible person for abandoning her child um took care of her child for the first however many years and apparently the father was out of the picture or was not doing yeah. it they didn't really specify what he was doing but it was right. led to believe he wasn't really there or something so right one of them deserted and then the other one dropped that one off and then deserted the child then and so there was just no like good people outside of um the transgender prostitute and this little girl which i thought was kind of beautiful things that most people think are gross or disgusting or, or despicable people uh not not humans basically um and they described the the prostitute as a not not a human i think that one the driver did he described her as not human and a lot of people yep. did that to that little girl but yeah i thought that was really beautiful that those two people were like the the good ones 
Uh, and so I thought that message was great. But let's talk about uh, Mohana. This is our uh, Mamudi. Sorry, this is our first introduction to the the legend. And I thought this was a brilliant performance. A very sub. And I don't know. This is obviously just like going in with Ranveer and Gully Boy. This is our first mm -hmm. introduction to him. So yes. I thought this was a very good, very subdued performance uh, by by this man, and I saw no no faults in his performance uh, at all. I thought he conveyed a lot without showing like indicating anything, uh, and then he he I thought he did a, a really good job uh, interacting um, and showing different types of emotions, uh, like when that the wife that came in and then the husband of that girl who they were trying to swindle these guy and the girl. Um, I thought that was a great scene where he, he kept bringing that guy. He called him uncle, right? Uh, brother. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that whole scene where he fell asleep right next to him, uh, was a really good sequence of, uh, events. Um, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, I, I thought he was, his performance was really, really good. And I'm, I'm really excited to see more from him. Cause obviously we know from his reputation that he is a, a legend. Yeah. I, I, we have nothing to measure it according to any other roles to see what he does with his different roles. But I, 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 so, I felt this was a fully fleshed out character. Mm -hmm. completely believable. I never doubted for a moment that he was not her dad. Uh, that was her dad. She was his daughter. They were living these moments. And the um, the direction by Ram, uh, uh, is it, do you know if it's Ram or Ram? I think it's Ram, but I could be. I think it is. I think it's Ram. That's why I'm saying that. Uh, I felt the direction, which we'll get into the larger picture, and I, I have so much to say that I'm definitely doing an afterthoughts on this on my channel because there's so much to talk about with this. There is, yeah. Uh, but yes, he he clearly demonstrated that he is a a very good actor, and I I would really like to see more of his work. Um, mm -hmm. It was nuanced, fleshed out is the best word I can say. A fully believable character. And yes, no indicating, pure honesty, definitively grounded, never aware of the camera, didn't need to perform. All of the things that you just check off the list of, can you act? Also, Set that also, aside. It's, not a, it's not, a, not a matter of this guy can act. It's a matter of how good is this guy, yeah. man. Cause, also, <sighs> do you know how old he is? No, I didn't. How old do you think he is? Mm, 53. 68. <laughs> Rock on, brother. This man. Rock on. Has found the fountain of youth. That's there. magnificent. Wow. Because he does not look more than about your age. He looks about your age. He, he, I was going to say, he looks like he's a couple years older than me. Yeah. And so, yeah. the, I don't magnificent. Know they, I don't he know takes what, great care of himself. I don't know what he looks like normally. If they put like whatever, like if he has gray hair now, or and they just kind of dye it for the film, or whatever. But either way, the man looks great for sixty years old. Looks uh, fantastic. Anyways, um, so let us know what film of his we should we should get into next. Uh, he he gave very similar weight to Mahanal uh, in terms of uh, acting weight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he has he has a gravitas exactly. Yeah, um, but let's talk about the direct. Uh, actually, uh, before I get to the direction, uh, I want to talk about one of my favorite parts, which was the score. The score in this, I don't know if you noticed it very much, but Ooh. especially God, it was so beautiful and quirky and upbeat at times. And <laughs> I know um, it was really really unique score that I really ended up loving a lot. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. I thought the score was great. I thought the direction was really beautiful. I loved the story, and I loved how it began with him telling us the story and it maintaining the chapters, and nature is fill-in-the-blank. Nature is fill-in-the-blank. And massive spoilers. So anyone who has stayed around now and you don't want the ending to be ruined, go away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because when he started walking her out into the ocean, I thought, oh, my goodness, are we going to have the stereotypical kind of 
twist to a film that we've seen in some of the films we've seen where where it turns into some massive macabre destructive ending and is he really gonna are they both gonna drown in the ocean right now because what i wanted and i was so hurt when when he got back to his house and uh mira was in cooking and the guy had let her in and and he the dad tells them to get out what were you doing in my place i was literally thinking no no do not turn on her she's she's the one you're looking for man she's the one that she needs to have a feminine role model in her life don't push this one away <laughs> and so when it flipped the page on us and he's talking at the end and he's talking about how he's talking about his wife and everything i literally laying there i threw my arms up in the air and went oh yes thank you that you didn't throw her away thank you and i loved there's that's a thing that we could do a whole other video on the subject matter of the way people who have cerebral palsy or any other disability are treated by society and how uh, you then get into she is treated exactly the same way prostitutes are treated the transgender community is treated the homosexual community is treated i mean we can go down the list of people who are not treated with the kind of dignity and respect they should be treated even though they don't fall into the category of what you socially deem to be appropriate for you mm -hmm. they're still a human being and I, I like the spastic in america guys stupid babies may not know this but the term retarded and the term spastic 50 years ago were actually used all the time and they're now considered really rude to call somebody retarded even if they have cerebral palsy you don't define them as retarded and you definitely don't call them a spastic that's insulting um call but i don't know again you call by the yeah, medical you call name the medical name that the what the medical problem they have yeah. you don't even, even it's gotten to the point here where you don't even say someone has a disability a lot of people don't like that terminology either they just want to say yes this person has cerebral palsy leave it at that yeah treat, um, treat, treat people as people uh, exactly uh, but yeah the direction in this was really beautiful and i'm looking forward to so watching good. more from rum um because i loved the uh, quentin tarantino uses the chapters a lot but it's this is this is a very different use of the chapters some of them right. were very very short um but, and they kind of gave you a, a linear timeline uh that was kind of really easy to follow uh, mm. and I thought, I thought that was great. Um, I, I really enjoyed his whole incorporation with the score, um, and, and everything like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching more, um, from him. And I loved the, the scene when he went to go see his ex-wife. Oh man. I yes. Thought that, I thought that was a great scene. Great uh, scene. Where he didn't, he didn't end up actually saying anything uh to them but he, then he said when he went down he's like if they would have asked even at all about her well-being i would have asked them to take care of her and yeah so he, he was yeah still, he was still at his wits end and trying to you know give her up to give yeah. you know somebody else's problem um, yes and then he tried to drown his daughter uh well, and <laughs> and and we have we have the whole other issue that we could talk long about which i will in afterthought is the whole issue about uh, f parents talking to their kids about their sexuality yeah. and the development of their sexuality. And, you know, the, the, that one moment when the guy says, yeah, we, what else are we supposed to do with her? We caught her fingering herself. I was like, and I thought it was beautiful. I loved the moment when he, he was trying to do what he could for her and he really, that moment when she went in to put the pad on, he was really hoping she could do it herself. Not because he felt shame helping. He wanted her to be empowered to take care of this as she was becoming a woman. And I, I, that was probably one of my favorite things in this was to watch this man and see him want his young girl to, he was, he was coming to terms with my little girl's becoming a woman and I want her to become a woman. What can I do to help her become a woman in the midst of this other challenge she has? And it, yeah. wasn't, uh, it wasn't taboo for him. Even when he's in that place and he's talking to the woman about wanting a male prostitute, mm -hmm. that got me emotional. 
Yeah, that was, uh, and that's something I think, you know, really great films do. They, they make you question what you think is okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I would probably wait a few years before I get a, a prostitute for my, my daughter. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> yeah. 14 seems but... a little young, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, it's I, I think that's uh, that, that was a really good scene one because who that's how, like the person he was asking was would act I think everybody would act that exact same way if somebody was like wait you're asking for a prostitute for your right child? At, at face value you'd slap him in the face too it would be like yeah. are you kidding me right now and then but when you discover where he is and he's at his wit's end and he has no one to turn to and he's he loves her so much, he's willing to go against everything he ever thought was okay and not okay in the hope that maybe this will bring a solution for my girl. I, I just thought it was incredibly well done. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, it, it definitely raised a lot of uh, interesting and important questions um, about oh, life yeah. and without people with cerebral palsy and, and stuff like that. And so I thought it was such a brilliant film. Uh, and uh, so I'm really yeah. glad uh, you guys recommended it. Um, and this one was, I think this one, a lot of people, the people that have seen it rave about it. It's one of those. It's like people that oh, have seen I it will. <laughs> rave about it. But most people, since it's, I think it's more of an art house film, and we could talk about the cinematography. That's something we hadn't talked about. was yeah. freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, even the stuff, the way they use lighting a lot in the, like this, in the in the apartment as well, the way they use lighting was uh, really interesting. Um, and so there's so many elements of this film that uh, I really, really enjoyed, and uh, I'm glad we watched it. Uh, and was, it this, was this... I w- I was just going to say this could have been, and it might have been. Was this considered a candidate for submission to the Oscars? I'm not sure. Because it could have been. Uh, yeah, it definitely could have been, and it could have uh, done very well. Uh, could have done very well. <laughs> but as we know, there's a lot of politics in, in what India submits. Yeah, but it's that, it's that caliber of film for me. It's that caliber that I would say, if you want to see one of the best Oscar-level films that covers important subject matter plural lots of it it's it's a great film and do you guys consider this a tamil film or a malayalam film because because right. i've seen people ask what are you gonna watch the malayalam film paranbu and i'm like i'm pretty <laughs> sure it's tamil and pretty sure some, it's tamil yeah but some people said since he's such a huge star they've kind of just adopted it into because any anything that um um Mamudi does is considered Malalium. Uh, but anyways, let us know what you thought of his film down below and let us know which film we should watch and review next from uh, Mamudi and Ram as well. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, was, yeah go to watch Rick's Afterthoughts. I'm sure he's going to do it. Oh, I am. Da din din 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 da din din